Hello. How are you? It's lovely to be back and to be back live with you. Um, I am now in the new house, so I have managed to get moved in. The treatment room is pretty much set up and ready to go. Um, appointment availability from, well, I have a handful of appointments this week. I think I've already been booked. And then I'm taking next week off for a little bit of a breather because it's been kind of flat out over the last um, couple of weeks, as you can imagine. Um, but appointments will be available again from Monday the 18th of July. We do have some news on that, some changes coming into force, um, but I'll detail those in the weekly musings newsletter. I'll touch on them later um, and just let you know. But let me know how you are. Let me know how things have been for you. Um, as I say, it's nice to be back live. It's nice to actually have a space that is now set up again. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it particularly well, um, but treatment room set up again um, and ready for action. It's nice to finally be in the new house after all the months of talking about it. I feel like I've been talking about it for years. <laughs> so it's nice to actually be in, not gonna lie, completely exhausted. Um, it's been a really busy few weeks. We moved in literally last Monday. So the house is sitting as if we've been in it all our lives, which is great, but it's also been really tiring. So I hope you will forgive me if today's musings are a little, perhaps maybe shorter than normal, um, but I will, I did want to touch base and um, come on live as promised. So what are we talking about today? Um, a couple of things. Um, Shannon is taking on evening appointments from Monday the 18th of July and if you go online you'll be able to book appointments with her. If you're not sure how to use the online system or you need any help just come to me or you can email her as well at shannon at roxandrituals.co.uk and she'll get you sorted out. Um, please do book your way appointments um, for Reiki with her. Um, 6.30 and 8pm I think are her times on Tuesdays and Thursdays so if that works for you great. If that doesn't work and there's another time you need let us know. We are playing with the diary just at the moment. From August I will be taking a little bit more of a back seat when it comes to one-to-one um, -one appointments and we'll have reduced availability um, just to facilitate some other work that I have taken on, some other commitments that have come onto my plate. So as a result of that, I'll no longer be free Monday to Thursday to take on um, clients and will only be seeing people on Fridays and Saturdays. Shannon will be available at other times, so you can chop and change between the two of us and see what suits you best and what suits mm -hmm. your diary. So do bear that in mind and let me know um, what works for you. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Um, taking next week off, I think I've mentioned that. There's something else. Oh yes. Thank you all so much for all your messages of support and for your patience over the last few weeks. Um, messages of support for my mum. She is continuing to do well. I've, I visited her this morning. She's continuing to get stronger every day and it's great to see. So hopefully she will be home in the next couple of weeks. Um, thank you also for all the messages and the feedback on last week's video um, about what breaks my heart. It was nice to see that it touched so many people. And please do reach out and speak to me if there's anything I can do to help. If anything I said during that video or in that blog post resonated with you and you want to speak to me about it, you know, pick up the phone. We can we can arrange that. Um, happy to help in any way. Also as well, thank you to everybody who's shown um, an interest in the Shamanic Practitioner course, which starts in September. There will be an introductory morning on Sunday the 21st. Sunday the 21st. Yes, Sunday the 21st of August, there will be a little introductory morning in the Haven in Bangor from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I will be advertising that um, in the next week or two just to let you know so you can book a place on that to find out all the information about the Shamanic Practitioner course, which is due to start on Sunday the 11th of September. Just as a quick heads up on that, it is a course that runs over the course of 10 months, um, payable over the course of a year. Um, or you can pay up front, whatever works for you. Um, but Sundays, uh, the second Sunday of every month from September through to June. Okay, and then we will, uh, you have the summer off to, to calibrate and work out what's, uh, how you're going to integrate the, the teachings moving forward. So 
lots of information available about the shamanic workshop um, and the shamanic practitioner course and that will all be given out to you at the introductory morning so do let me know if that's something that speaks to you and you can come along there's no obligation if you come to the introductory morning and you decide it's not for you that's fine um, the places on the course are allocated by application process um, just simply so that I can make sure it's the right fit for you so just by coming to the intro morning doesn't necessarily mean you'll get on the course but do come along if that is something that interests you and I think that's all the news that I have at this minute in time life just feels very manic and a bit crazy right now so next week i am going to take next week off entirely so there won't be amusings next monday um, and i'm just literally going to take a week's break where i can just get my head back together and get uh, get back in the game because it's been exhausting as you can imagine moving house dealing with a, my mother in hospital bless her and now in a intermediate care home and also trying to to get things organized and keep everybody happy so i'm going to take next week off and take some of my own advice for self-care and i hope you'll understand um this week we are looking at wisdom of the hidden realms the cards from this lovely deck um it is a deck i turn to whenever i'm feeling a little bit stressed or frazzled where i feel that maybe i've fallen out of my good practice um as you can imagine my routine has been thrown quite significantly with um, all the changes that have been going on and as a result I have just been exactly human just like you would be and have fallen off my daily meditation practice, have fallen out of my journaling practice, have stopped kind of being able to do everything I need to do to keep myself centred and I can feel it. For me it manifests as irritation and frustration and I get really snappy with people <laughs> and i have noticed that i i don't like the person i become whenever i don't get into my meditation space so i'm so grateful now to have my room back together to have the house sorted and i can get back into that routine i have tried to do things throughout the period where i have been um not necessarily in my, my structured routine of meditation and journaling I have still tried to do things to keep me on an even keel, like getting my bare feet in the earth, drinking plenty of water, lots of things like that. So there's always ways where you can bring things in, but life is a series of, you know, changes and flows. And sometimes you really do struggle to keep things um, on that even keel. So if you're struggling at any time, give yourself a break, okay? Give yourself a break, take a deep breath and find one thing that you can do in that day that will help you. And that will make a world of difference for you. So the cards, um, as I say, I use these Wisdom of the Hidden Realm cards because I find that they are some of the most supportive and give the most insight when it comes to when you're feeling like this and when your head is a little bit busy and you maybe don't have the clarity to sit and interpret tarot cards and the deep nuances of meaning. So the first one that came up was the Dream Walker card, but it came up reversed. So it came up as a challenger. And when this dream walker card comes comes to you in any reading, it's about understanding that your dreams can come true, that everything you know is going well. But whenever it's reversed, it reminds you not to give up on your dreams. So it reminds you that, you know, we sometimes walk through life on autopilot. We sometimes find ourselves in a collective nightmare and we can wake up at any time. We can step out of that collective heaviness and that collective nightmare and step back into our own dreams. So have you forgotten what it is that you would really love to achieve in your life? What are your dreams? And it's amazing how many people don't know or they go, oh, I don't know what I want out of life or I don't know what my dreams are. You do know, you just have you maybe feel that you can't express them. Sometimes you feel that maybe it's selfish to express what it is that you want out of life, um, that it might hurt someone else because that's not what they want. Or perhaps that, you know, if you follow your dreams, someone else will not be able to follow theirs. So you, you sometimes say to yourself, well, that's okay, then I'll just, I'll let mine go. Well, why should you? Your life is equally valid. Your life's important. Nobody's asking you to go out and hurt anyone. But at the same time, by following your dreams and following your passion, you can wake up from a collective nightmare that you may find yourself in. And that's what this card's all about. This card's reminding you 
that you have the power to dream the best dream to you know whilst it has come up as a ch it comes up when it's upside down it comes up as a challenger so it's challenging you it's challenging you to remember your dream it's challenging you to understand where you may need to wake up from your dream it's challenging you to see the bigger picture Okay, to see through illusion, to see through where you're maybe allowing yourself to be hemmed in by other people's expectations. Okay, so have a think about that. Have a think about how that might resonate with you. The second card that's come up is the prison waif, all about self-sabotage and poverty consciousness. And this is a card, again, that reminds you that thoughts are things what are you telling yourself on a daily basis we had this conversation at level two class um, i had a very small level two class on saturday and there was just a couple of students on board and we um we were chatting about the importance of the words i am what are you saying when you say i am and you're then saying i am tired i am skimped i am fed up then what what does that do energetically that draws that to you that the weight of that and one of the girls on the course actually pointed out that a useful thing to do might be to turn it around and say am i am i tired okay perhaps i am so therefore i'll listen to my body and i'll sleep you know am i really fed up or am i just frustrated because i'm not following my dreams or i'm doing things for other people rather than for myself you know, am I, you know, what am I saying whenever I say the words I am? Are you saying things, are you sabotaging yourself? Perhaps not following your dreams because you don't think that you can, because you might, do you say things like, I'm sure what's the point because I fail anyway, or I'm not good enough? What is going on in here that's holding you back, that's sabotaging yourself? Where do you sabotage yourself? And we all do it. We all do it. I do it. I do it all, all the time. And I have learned to catch myself on when I start to say things like, you know, I can't do that. Or a big one, uh, I've, I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a big one. I don't have time. Or you find yourself when you sometimes when you're feeling a little overwhelmed or a little bit stressed or a little bit sort of run down you'll find yourself saying things like you know i'm too busy or i can't i can't even i can't even do that i haven't got the bandwidth for that i can't i just i can't and that's sabotaging behavior it's absolutely vital to say no to things whenever it's all too much and don't be afraid to ever you know stand up for yourself and say no when you need to but don't sabotage yourself I see it all the time, people almost getting everything that they, they kind of are going for something they really want and just as they are about to take it, they let it go because they have a fear come up. They have this inbuilt fear of, well, who do I think I am to deserve that? Well, who are you not to deserve it? Your light shines ever so bright, shine it. Take what's rightfully yours, live the life that you want to lead and stop sabotaging yourself. Because when you do that, you give other people permission to do the same. And the last card that's come up is both a challenger and an ally, the Lady of the Mirror. And this is about reflecting on where you are in your life and how your choices have led you to where you are today. And it's not about, it's a non-judgment card, so it's not about doing that to beat yourself up. It's simply to acknowledge and notice. Because when we start to notice how our choices and our decisions lead to certain consequences and actions in our lives then we can actually start to make better choices and better decisions because we consciously then drive our lives and rather than it being something that you know letting life happen to you and being the victim you actually then step into the empowered driver of your life and you're no longer the passenger you're driving your life the way you want it to be you are reflecting and it's a good practice to do this, you know, um, a journaling practice or keeping a diary at the end of every day, perhaps noticing, you know, what choices did you make today and how did that work out for you and how did your day go? You're not judging yourself, you're just noticing it. 
it allows you nearly to take a step back and detach off so that you can objectively look at what how your day went or how your week has been from a business point of view i would do it you know every month i would look back and think well how was the month that's just been what went well what didn't go so well you know as an as ambulance crew we are encouraged to reflect and to write up reflections about patients and learning points and things that went well things that didn't go so well you know so reflecting is a very very powerful tool and the lady of the mirror asks you to reflect she asks you to look deeply within yourself and to look at your life and see how it's reflected back and it's not through any blame it's not to say that you know you deserve anything it's that that's that's really limited thinking but it's about stepping out of those limiting beliefs and that limiting sort of fear based thinking and looking and saying okay this is my life as it is right now how have i contributed to this what things have i done really well that have given me this lovely life or what things have i done that perhaps have led me into this place where it's not so good right now what can i do to change it because you can always make choice you can always, you always have a choice there's always something you can do even if it's the tiniest little thing you know big grand journeys big destinations they all start with one small step so i'm going to leave those thoughts with you for now um i wholly intend to write this all up and get the blog out today whether that happens or not i'm going to give myself a break if it doesn't but um i want you just overall i think what these cards are saying is you know take a look at the bigger picture of your life look at the decisions you've made look at how you have come to be where you are notice your limiting beliefs notice the thought patterns that hold you back and that sabotage yourself and allow yourself to wake up from any collective dream which isn't serving your highest good so tap back in as you reflect and you're reflecting on where life is right now you can also perhaps reflect on what your dreams are and what you would like them to be and as we're now in the second half of this year did you set any intentions at the start of the year did you have a plan for the year did you have things that you wanted to achieve this year well check in and reflect on that as well check in and reflect where you are in the greater scheme of things where are you closer to your plan that you had set in place are you further away from it you know do you want to readjust do you, how would you like the next in the second half of this year go the next six months to go so that when we come into the end of the year and you're looking back and doing a year review you know how would you like it to look so these are all thoughts for you things for you to muse about this week um, have a think about it leave a comment let me know if it spoke to you let me know what you're going to do this week and you know feel free as well folks to you know if there's if there's bigger questions out there that you would like answered or you'd like the cards to answer drop them in the comments and um you know i can blog on them i can muse on them and we can use the cards and this is for you just as much as it is for me so um please share your thoughts and share any questions that you would like answered and i will speak to you all again next week